connection with higher self? Higher yes. self. Higher self. Higher okay. Self. Uh, we have different parameter. Our aura, our flow yes. on the um, chakra. Yes. Chakras. We have Very ten good. chakra. Yes. Seven chakra. Very physical good. Physical body and three chakra on our head. Ah, but where did you learn about chakras? This is not chakra normal. Have. This is not normal scientific knowledge. So, yes, uh, one chakra moon, solar, mm -hmm. and uh, right. planetary chakra. For example, to say about our, they say we uh, see our soul. Yes. Very interesting. I see. Uh, but uh, but uh, you, you do not use them to communicate. Uh, the government is using your work or no? Uh, with government uh, we have very difficult uh, con communication because official science yes. not uh, help me. I mm. see. This uh, is in fact, I, I am work uh, myself. So independent. 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 Oh, it's independent. I see. <laughs> Not officially. Not officially. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But um, I have very many yeah. articles, in, uh, one article yeah. in England, okay. in English, okay. very many articles in Russian, and yeah. I have two books about this problem. Very one. Yeah. Okay. Aye. Aye. Okay, thank this you. Okay. Yes. And another article, it not published. Okay. In this time, maybe you may possibility to publish this article. Okay. Uh, in name is in Russian Rasiski Dit Indiga. Ah. Children Indiga of uh, Russia. I see. Okay, wonderful. Okay. We were just talking about how Beriska how he looks when he was seven and now he is actually eleven years old and there was such a difference in he his recall is not as accurate, um, not as deep. He's having trouble remembering things. He's more focused on on growing up as a as an eleven year old in society now, and he's quite grown up, actually, for eleven in many ways. Yeah, but the feeling I had. Um If you look at this picture of him here, with all the artist's impressions done for the magazine, which is where it, where it was published, I think, you can see the innocence of a seven-year-old when he first started talking about this stuff. And now he's 11. A lot of people have asked him all these questions. He's been surrounded by university professors and journalists. And he's been it was a little bit like somebody told the same story so many times, like, sometimes people ask me what it was like living in Africa when I was a child, and I remember the first time people were asking me this, I was interested in the question, and I'd get really animated when I was recalling living in, in West Africa when I was a little kid. And now when people ask me, it's just like, oh, I just lived in Africa, and, you know, it's like if you tell something over and over again, it just becomes boring to tell it one more time. And this was the feeling that we got from him. And actually, he's just trying to be an 11-year-old, really. And this is the kind of thing that I've heard many times before, that you get a, a little kid who might remember details of their past lives when they're very young and they're four and five and they start talking about strange things you know, to their parents over dinner. And by the time they're nine, ten, eleven, twelve, they've just forgotten all about it because they've been swamped by all the stuff that's happening on planet Earth. For me, I, I, I saw a little boy who does remember things, but they're fleeting. They're, they're not, they're like the fleeting kind of images from dreams and those are very hard to put into words to the people around you. So I think that he remembers the images in his mind, but it's much more difficult now for him to verbalize. And he also seemed to be going through what every young child goes through right before puberty, which is, you know, um, a lot more self-consciousness among 
adults than probably he had when he was seven and started talking to the reporters. Um, I didn't get the impression he's been asked about this all that often, but I do think that he's very self-conscious now um, of, you know, because he's growing up and he knew there was cameras and the pressure of all the people and, and the situation seemed to be weighing on him in a way. Um, and he may be going through some emotional traumas. He says, you know, he doesn't really have any friends and um, so on. But he did seem to have recall of things. Um, he talked nonchalantly about earth changes it, starting in 2009 and um, of water that he saw coming. And he talked about war and he, he also made a very big distinction between talking about bad things about people, that he, he really didn't want to say anything bad about the humans around him. Yeah, that was very striking, um, wasn't it? Yeah, and, and, and yet he didn't even remember, uh, you know, his telepathic um, experience with his professor in which he was completely tuned in to what his professor had experienced on the train home one night. He said he's, he's considered to be an unusual child by others. Um, he's aware of this and I think it's coloring his world and maybe in not such a making, not making life so easy for him. But he's precocious, he's charming, he's delightful, he's, he's like a little imp, he has a lovely sense of humor, he's light. He's, he's really brilliantly intelligent, um, and all of this will come across on the film, I have no doubt. And we have developed a relationship with him uh, that hopefully will go on, and we will be able to... He says he's a writer, he likes to write on the internet, so we will see if there's proof of this, and um, we'll go from here, and hopefully this is just the beginning. He's, he's a fascinating little kid. Uh, his professor is doing some advanced work with indigo children in general um, that his government is not completely fully behind apparently and he has a book that he'd like to get published I mean there were many wonderful things um, his mother is also has telepathic gifts uh, she was completely in tune with him telepathically when he was younger they could touch hands and he could in essence show her things take her to other planets um, make things available to her in ways that she made her completely know that she had this very special child. Um, so, so it's it's all very fascinating, and I, I think that we I think it was well worthwhile. Um, and and there's just more to come about this. Yes, everything which you've said, I mean, which is absolutely right, but we need to. We need to put all that down in some kind of a narrative because yeah. that's how it belongs. It, yeah. It's actually what it is. So historically, from what he has been on record as having said. But just um, think of this will be, you know, this is him, him at 11. If we even came back in six months, he may be in a completely different place. Absolutely right. Um, yes, you know, and then if yes. people, you know, are not able to interview him for a few years and suddenly they come back, you'll get a whole nother viewpoint and this will be part of that record so it's yes. it is important and it does matter um, a person's stumbling blocks even a person that comes from another planet to this planet does have forgetfulness after a while you know life is hard especially in Russia he lives in a one-room apartment for God's sake you know um, he has no yeah. real money to speak of. And he has no He's father. He's a special He's, child yeah. on top of it. And he, I mean, he has no... His no, father is not around. Um, and his father is not around to recognize that he is who he is. Um, because his mother said that she thought that he had probably heard about him. You know, which is right. incredible. Which means that he must have been off the scene before he was seven, which probably means that he can barely remember it. Sorry. And that's pretty tough. That's all pretty tough. Yeah. Um, remember that this video uh, we have shot will show a 12, you know, 11, 12 year old indigo child in the throes 
of yeah. a life experience that other indigo child children will be able to see yes. and who are going through the same thing and yeah. will be able to identify immediately with him yes. um, visually by his mannerisms by his persona um, by his his intellect and the brightness in his eyes um, all of that will come across.